Hi, this is Ivan with Simple Sheets. In this video, we're going to do a step by step tutorial of our profitability analysis template. This is one of over 100 pre built and smart templates that we offer. Click the link in the description and try 5 free templates before you buy. Let's get started. The introduction sheet contains a short description about this template. Over here, we have a customization difficulty, an explanation of the sheets that come with this template, and some instructions on how you can utilize this template. This template is a great tool to help you gauge the profitability of your products over different geographical locations, allowing you to have the information you'd need to make strategic decisions to set your company up for success. We start in the mapping sheet. It's here where we input the months to be used in the analysis, as well as their corresponding quarter. Do note to check that your system's regional date settings are the same with the one that Excel is using. In the same sheet, input the products, but remember to leave the All Products option there. We can now move on to the data sheet. In the green cells, log down the pertinent data such as the period, the country, product, revenue, cost of goods sold, and the admin expenses. You can use other categories for the country such as region, sales agent, department, or any other category you deem relevant. If you wish to add an admin expense, you can do that by inserting a column between columns F and G and columns G and H. If you want to remove them, just remove single columns from columns F to H. When adding a new line of data at the bottom, be sure to check if the formulas in the grayed out cells are also dragged down. This being an Excel table, the formulas should drag down automatically, but it never hurt to be extra sure. Once everything in the datasheet is squared away, we can now affix our country categories in the by country, by product and country, and monthly phasing sheets. For the by country and by product country sheets, a trick to get the countries instantly, if you're running a newer version of Excel, on the topmost blank column, type in equals unique. Then input the range which contains the countries, which is data column B, then hit enter and it should all spill into the cells. To make sure that they stay there regardless, you can copy and paste them as values in the cells. For older versions of Excel and for the monthly phasing sheet, you can hop back in the data sheet and click on the sort and filter menu on the country header. Below, you can see all the unique countries listed down for you. After that, we're basically done. Hop into the dashboard sheet and view your metrics. You can see on top we have some highlighted values such as total countries, total products, total revenue, total cost of goods sold, total expenses, total net profit, and total net profit margin. We have a graph which shows you your accumulated profit and sum of profit performance over time. We have a chart which shows the revenue per country revenue per product, month-over-month -month growth performance, and the division of your different expenditures. Over on the left, we have dynamic slicers which you can use to filter out the data presented by quarter, period, country, and product. Above the slicers, we have a full-screen macro button so you can maximize your work area. And when you change up the data, hit the refresh macro button so the changes will reflect in the dashboard. That's all for this template. If you want to automate your Excel processes and enhance your level of productivity, Simple Sheets Advanced Templates and University is the best tool out there. I'll see you guys on the next one.